Corvo, if only there was someone else I trusted to send, so that you could remain near. But there is no one else, and the Spymaster was right to insist that I send you. The plague has taken so many, and we must find a cure. When you are near, my heart is at peace. Emily and I will count the days until you return. Hurry home, and bring good news. Steady hand. That's it. Watch it. Cast off wide. Casting off. We're away. Take us straight to Dunwall Tower. Lord Corvo has news for the Empress, and we've come a long way. A long way to bring bad news. The sailors say there's a curse on us. Black magic. Superstition. For all we know, there's a cure for the plague by now. Maybe. We live in strange times. Sending the Empress's bodyguard away for a couple of months. That's unusual. Well, this was important. We need help with the rat plague. Waiting for your news, Corvo. You know what to do next time? Yes, yes. The pressure was too low. All these new machines are touchy. Just don't do anything crazy. Sokolov's changing. Hello, sir. Corvo, you're back! Will you tell me about your trip, please? Were there any whales? Wait! Let's play hide and seek first. I'll cover my eyes and you hide. You have time? Mother's busy talking to that nasty old spy master. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Follow me, Corvo. While you were gone, Mother seemed very sad. Let's see if you're still good at this. I'll hide my eyes and count, and at the end of the countdown, I'll try and find you. Okay, I'm going to count to ten. Find a place to hide. One last time, please, Corvo. Okay, and find a better hiding place this time. I'll count to ten.
like a bird. Now we should go see Mother. Did you see any monsters while traveling to the other aisles? My nanny says the big ocean's full of them, but I think she only says that to scare me. Welcome home, Lord Protector. Stop moving, Campbell. And you, Corvo, welcome back. From wherever you've been. They sent him all around the Isles to beg for aid. A waste of time. My elixir will banish the plague from this city. Now keep still a moment, High Overseer Campbell. I'm not so sure that painting looks like Campbell. <coughs> She'll see you at once. They're sick people, not criminals. We've gone beyond that question, Your Majesty. They're... They're my citizens, and we will save them from the plague if we can. All of them. Very well. We will not speak of this again. Mother, Corvo is back. Thank you, Emily. Leave us, please. As you wish, Your Majesty. Corvo. Two days early, full of surprises, as usual. It's a fair wind that brings you home to me. Follow me, Captain. What news have you brought? We should leave them alone. I hope that one of the other cities had dealt with this before, knew of some cure. This news is very bad. We're at the breaking point. Cowards. They're going to blockade us. They'll wait to see if the plague turns the city into a graveyard. Are you okay, Mother? You seem sad. Yes, don't worry, darling. Mother is fine. Wait, where are the guards? Who sent them away? Mother, look! What are they doing on the rooftop? What? Emily, come here. Thank you. If you hadn't been here... No more! Not again! Mommy! No! Get away from her! Protect her. You're the only one. You'll know what to do. Won't you? Corvo. Ward us all. Look at what he's done. Yes, he's killed the Empress. What did you do with young Lady Emily, traitor? Her own bodyguard. Ironic. I'll see you beheaded for this, Corvo. Peg him.
final chance, Kobo. Sign the confession and let me give you the rights to put your spirit at ease. That's enough for now. Get out. Let's give the man some time to think. Corvo, the Empress is dead. Her daughter Emily is hidden away, and no one will ever know the truth. Yes, unlucky you. Tomorrow you'll be executed, but it's for a good cause. This country needs strong leadership now, someone to guide the weak. And that's where we come in. There was nothing personal in this. Even though you almost sank our plans. But it turned out well. You were in the wrong place at the right time. And someone has to take the fall. Goodbye, Corvo. Guards! Take him back to his cell. Should eat, Corvo. This meal comes from a friend. tell you about the time I almost caught that guy who killed the Empress? Another night, another patrol with you. How come so many people are coming to the execution tomorrow? It's on account of Corvo, the one who killed the Empress and abducted her daughter, Emily. So it's an occasion? Right. A social event for the High and Mighty. Come see the noble Lord Protector get his head chopped off. They're as bad as us betting on the dogfights. Attention. The solitary wing is off limits to maintenance crew, unless accompanied by an officer of the watch. Escort through the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance with one week's notice. Tell me again what you'll do if Slack John as Bottle Street Boys jump you. <laughs>
attention. The solitary wing is off limits to maintenance crews, unless accompanied by an officer of the watch. Escort through the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance with one week's notice. You're out. Good for you. Cut some throats. Let me out. I've got three days before they cut my head off. One week's notice. unless accompanied by an officer of the watch. Escort through the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance with one week's notice. restricted to the personnel assigned to the event and approved dignitaries only.
attention. The solitary wing is off limits to maintenance crews, unless accompanied by an officer of the wall. Escort to the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance with one week's notice. Unconscious again. Though he's taken more punishment than any two men we've brought in for interrogation. When he wakes, we'll start again. Having him sign the confession for her murder isn't critical, but it might be useful to us later. The assassination of an empress is not a trivial matter. 